Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nolan Cohen, and I'm here with Xander Blickley, and welcome to the debut episode of the Parkland Podcast. We're so excited to have our very first guest, senior soccer player Josh Daniels. Let's get into it. So here we have senior Josh Daniels. It's great to have you on today, Josh. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. All right, so some quick bio on Josh here. He tallied eight goals and four assists last year for the varsity soccer team, including a game-winning goal in the district championship versus Emmaus and already has added three more goals and two more assists as this season has gone on. He's played a variety of spots, but is currently a winger for the soccer team. All right, Josh, are you cool if we um, start asking some questions? Shoot. All right, so what I wanna know, when did you start playing soccer? Um, I started playing soccer um, maybe when I was nine years old for like South Parkland. South Parkland. We was playing at recess and one day I tried it out. It's been my life ever since. Got it, got it. Now, if you had to say your play style models any pro soccer player, who would you say and why? Um, not really any pro level, just mimics just hard work and combination. If I would say any like high pressure, I would say maybe maybe Liverpool's press pressing style, any of their front three. I like that answer. I like that answer a lot. Josh, you wear number 15 on the field. Is there any reason behind that number, or you just like it? Well, I was really thrown in the deep end with like club soccer in Switzerland. I didn't really speak any German, so mm-hmm. my first match, they chucked the jersey at me, and it was 15. Big so. 15? Yeah, stuck with that ever since. Now, what was it like being in Switzerland? Because you're from there, correct? I just lived there for two years Yeah, in middle school. And how was that? Um, at the beginning, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, it was terrifying because I didn't speak the language but yeah I was, I was at school with a bunch of other international students who didn't speak the language either mm-hmm. so i had a lot of people who i just had like a lot common with they love soccer they love like skiing mountain biking and i fit in well with them until i was confident enough to like play and speak some german yeah. with the locals that's awesome that's an experience not a lot of people have and i think that definitely can help you in like many many different aspects mm-hmm. So, Josh, if um, you had to pick one moment as the best moment that you've had as an athlete, and I'm not talking just soccer, or maybe I am talking just soccer, but any moment as an athlete, what would it be? One moment, I would say, I think the most meaningful championship in my life was probably the district finals. Last year? Last year's district finals. Mm -hmm. It was my first major, like, total grind championship final. Yeah. And it just meant a lot more than like a lot of the other championships that came before it. Now, I, I do want to ask, do you intend on playing in college? Is that a hope? I mean, I want to continue soccer in some degree, but to some extent, some it's I'm I'm going to college to like undergrad pre-med. Yes. So it's going to be definitely a challenge, but I'm willing to try and balance high level soccer with like extraordinary high level study yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that would be your intended it's field my field major yeah. mm-hmm. all right now here's a good question i like this question i came up with it if you had to pick one of your teammates on the parkland varsity soccer team to be your roommate in college who would it be and why oh wow um a roommate roommate I mean, just for like roommate qualities, I would I would pick Jack. Jack who? Jack Jack, Jack Bear. He know he keeps he's a, he keeps his stuff clean. You know his stuff wouldn't be everywhere. He's he's got your back. He's got your back too. So if you don't mind me asking, what is the soccer team's record this season right now? Where do you sit at? As of now, we're unbeaten. I think it's five or six and zero. Five or six and zero, and. I just want to know this year, who would you say your biggest competition is in the league? Biggest competition skill wise is I would say Northampton, but you know, rivalry rise, it's always a mess. We always show up for that one. That makes sense. And the day this is being recorded, actually, I do believe the team plays Northampton tonight. Mm. This won't be out till next week, but that'll be a good game. Excited to see how that one goes. Me too. Are you prepared for that one? Yeah, we've prepared. We've simulated their field since it's narrow and shorter. Mm-hmm. We're just 
you know, we're not really changing our play style, but we're just taking notes some some of their threats. So last year, obviously, the soccer team had a big EPC championship and a district championship, but it's just it's got to be kind of difficult to build off of that success when you lose a lot of seniors. So, what would you say like is the key to keeping that success and like maintaining the program when you've already hit that high point and now you just want to like keep working on it? A big part of maintaining the program is having like a really tight knit class as seniors that mm-hmm. the underclassmen can look after and try and model like how they like treat each other, how yeah. they look after each other, how they have each other's backs. Mm-hmm. So for example, like this senior class, we're a really tight knit group. We play on the same club team. We hang out on the weekend together. We park next to each other. I mean, we're really just like outside of soccer. We're just like a friend group. Yeah. And I think we're setting a really good example. I can even see it taking shape like during the season. Like our our junior class, the rising seniors, next year, they're going to be a, almost as tight knit as us. So the thing about Parkland sports, they succeed, but it takes a big amount of time, right? Mm-hmm. What would you say would be good advice for a student athlete here at Parkland on managing their time? Uh, being a student athlete is definitely it's it's hard, but it's also a great experience. Oh, one hundred percent. Because you have you can have the satisfaction of having great grades and having great performance and winning championships. But honestly, it's it's harder than it seems to find time to manage both. So in between practices and games, you have to find those little pockets of time where you can get some good studying in. So Josh, um, this is my first day in the studio. This is my um, first time hosting a podcast. What do you think about our plant? I mean. It really just it's the centerpiece of the set, man. Do you think <laughs> it's, with it's great. Do you think without this plant, this podcast would be worth watching? Absolutely not. I don't think it would be either. However, I kinda wish the plant would like keep its hands to itself a little bit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's kind of invading my circle. Yeah, I don't appreciate that from the plant, but hopefully next week the plant will have a better performance. Mm-hmm. It's only up from here. <laughs> it is definitely only up for here for this guy. Is that a good is that a good clip? <laughs> <laughs> is that a good point? That beat the podcast. Might as well call it the plant cast. That wasn't funny. I just I just said it. All right. Josh, I think we're gonna try a little game here. You like right. games, don't you, buddy? Love games. The thing about games, when you play the game, you're playing a game, you know what I mean? Yep. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to rapid fire things at you to choose from. You have three seconds max to like answer, so you're, I'm just going to give you this or that. Boom. All right. All right. Are you good? Are you ready? Yeah. You look nervous. Why are you nervous? I'm not nervous. You're nervous? Man. No, dude. Is it the plant? It's the plant. All right. These are some hard hitters, so be ready. Tiger or lion? A lion. Cold or hot? Cold. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Rap or pop? Rap. Swift or Kanye? Kanye. Math or English? English. Chicken or steak? Steak. Dog or cat? Cat. Invisibility or flight? Flight. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a quick game. <laughs> Did you like that game? Dude, it was great. Thank you. It took me a while to think about that game. <laughs> what a segment. <laughs> what a segment. <laughs> the 10 second rapid fire. <laughs> I don't know why. I expected you to struggle with that for some reason. I just didn't imagine it going smoothly. So back to your time in Switzerland, because I just think it's so like intriguing. Um, you know, you said like it was hard to kind of fit in at first. You know, you're just this American kid. All these guys are like, who the who's this guy? But how did that like mentally like really take a toll on you? Mentally at the start, it was honestly one of the hardest things I've had to overcome. Like I just wouldn't, I wouldn't get in the car to go to practice. Yeah. I would like forget some stuff and just purposely sit out. But like the insults and like the shunning out was just honestly motivation to just tell them I could actually play with them because they just thought I was some stupid American striker forward who just thinks he's like the best of the best. But I just, I just had to like share the ball with them and, I mean, the boy honestly worked. Like they were just screaming at me. So could I? Can I get this on quote here? Josh Daniels supports bullying. 
Josh Daniels does not support bullying. You just said it. You just said it. I said Josh Daniels bullying is good. Is that correct? I said it worked on me. Josh Daniels likes bullying. (laughs) I am the top Parkland bullying advocate. (laughs) That's on camera. That's on camera. It's going to be a good clip. As soon as I started, like, sort of flowing with, like, the Swiss kids more, they started, like, accepting me because yeah. I started to learn some like normal words like an ex out of a smart position and I would I would you know, I just worked myself into a starting position and we started bagging some goals together and we'd go out I finally felt comfortable like getting drinks after practice with them and like it was definitely hard to overcome and I like I credit that with like I'm more like a, I'm more like calm now around like foreign situations yeah you would say just in general like that experience like you just built on it and now like if you're in like a strange extraneous situation like you kind of just know like all right let's relax and then figure it out from there Mm -hmm. especially to meet new people too yeah i can see that josh i'm i'm gonna open the floor to you would there be any questions you have for me i mean honestly this is a this is a great idea, this Parkland podcast. I mean, we have, yeah. this is an insane setup. We have great technology in here. This and is like, and we have a great producer, Xander Blickley. I just want to, all the credit goes to him for making this happen. I'm just very thankful for this opportunity, of course. It's definitely a way to give a platform to some people in the school to talk about stuff right next to this gorgeous plant. Speaking of this plant, it's gorgeous. It honestly is. It's very, very, very not real. we couldn't afford a real plant because we haven't made any profit but you live laugh and learn and love (laughs) are we looking to upgrade the plant in the future (laughs) you know that's a good question and i was thinking about this for a while but the thing about plants they grow and it this one might grow on me (laughs) Is this the Parkland Yap now? <laughs> we could do a Yap sesh. <laughs> the Parkland Yap sesh. Mm. Yeah, and I think as this podcast goes on, we're going to have some great people on here, hopefully, if it goes on, which it should. And I'm just excited for the future of it. And I'm very thankful for Josh here being here today. You know, yes. he took the leap of faith to trust us on come on this amazing podcast and sit next to this amazing plant and as we wrap up here we're very thankful for having you of course who do you think we should get on here next i think we should get our class president tim sod on this podcast i think that'd be a great idea um tim if you're watching this we'll be finding you we'll be seeing if you um want to come on here uh, maybe stand against bullying because that apparently needs to be handled and I just want to, I keep saying it, but thank you, Josh, for being here. And this has been the first episode of the Parkland Podcast. Thank you. So, um, obviously, soccer, not really your thing. Uh, How would you say being so bad at it has, like, made you work harder? (laughs) 